What you guys got another video here for you on should I disable the search indexing now Tony Champion made a comment the other day about search indexing and he says I noticed that you was using the search indexing and uh, Kerry seems to disable it in his videos now this is not a hate video by the way this is just my opinion on something and texts do have different uh, opinions on stuff and so do other people on the internet as you will know when you're searching for uh, topics you may find a, a debate where someone's saying turn it off and someone's saying leave it on and this is one of those um, times where people are going to have different opinions on something uh, so don't take it the wrong way personally I use the search feature all the time and you'll see here the search feature being enabled makes it very very quick I'm going to search for a file on my computer uh, and it will be this text file here which I don't know where it is and I can click on it and boom it's that quick now personally for me to manually go around and try to find out wherever I stored it I can't remember we've got drives that are so huge nowadays with so much data on them uh, by searching using the search index makes it so much quicker for me personally to leave it enabled now if you're one of these people that don't use the search feature then you may want to turn it off and gain a bit of space back and also you may see a, a really small negligible amount of uh, performance boost but it's so marginal it's not even worth uh, talking about I've very rarely seen any difference on my system from uh, doing these sorts of things uh, so I think really the main uh, the main thing here is to look at is the search feature here I'm going to search for another text document and boom it comes up straight away and that's because the search has an index of all the files on my computer now obviously because they're indexed it's going to take up a small amount of space a bit like system restore and um, it stores those uh, indexing on a system so it makes it much more quicker to find those files now of course with drives being so large and the amount of data that we've got uh, it can find those files very quickly because they are indexed and if you turn it off then it's going to make it much more slower so it's sort of counterproductive really you may gain a bit of uh, space back and a bit of tiny bit of performance but you're going to lose that by being uh, counterproductive because it's going to take you a longer time to actually find the file so it sort of outweighs uh, outweighs that option to disable it really and leaving it enabled and that's just my personal opinion so also people uh, say that you can uh, disable it and get these other options which we'll talk about a little bit later on but if you want to move the search indexing I'll show you how to do that rather than disable it why don't you just move it to another drive and uh, it's pretty simple you just go into the advanced feature here and just move it to a new location you can see index location is on the C uh, colon backslash program data backslash Microsoft and all you need to do is select a new location and if you've got uh, another drive that you want to put it onto if you're worried about uh, the rights going to your SSD then change it to the mechanical drive your storage drive and that way you don't lose the feature of the search index now a lot of people probably don't know that you can do that but of course you can and it's going to save you uh, some time and I think it just means that you're getting the best of both worlds so in my personal opinion this is uh, essential to my uh, productivity uh, searching for files and just generally my workflow I might find it much more easier to leave the feature enabled so I'm going to answer some of the questions that I've seen on the internet and some of the questions that Tony and other people have asked in the past and I'm going to try and answer them the best I can uh, but obviously take my opinion with a pinch of salt and Kerry's opinion with a pinch of salt and make up your own minds and choose what you want to do so let's take a look at some of the questions that people may have and also what I've seen on the internet you should disable the search indexing for a performance boost when you have an SSD the SSD is already fast enough and you can get a performance boost by disabling it well indexing uh, builds a list of all your files on your drive and using the search index on your computer will be pretty much instantaneous when you're searching for a particular file type now if you've got a lot of data on your drive and you're looking for a particular type of file then using the search feature 
is way quicker than actually uh, allowing the computer to uh, go through the whole drive to try and find the file because you've disabled the search index. So let's go ahead and take a look at the next question, which is you should disable the search indexing to gain more space on your drive. Granted, the amount of space that you do gain uh, is probably going to be a gigabyte or so of data, maybe a bit more, depending on how much data you've got. But to be honest, if you're worrying about uh, storage on an SSD, then buy a bigger SSD. They're pretty cheap nowadays and you can pick those up at a pretty reasonable price. So you're not going to gain that much by disabling it, to be fair to you. And uh, if you are running a small 128 gigabyte SSD, you may be needing to upgrade to a bigger drive because they are pretty cheap. So next up is you should disable the search indexing with an SSD because it writes to that drive. Well, uh, the amount of writes that it's going to make to that drive is very uh, negligible. It's not going to be a lot. So I don't think you're going to see um, too much problems with damaging the SSD. They're pretty robust nowadays. And uh, to be fair to you, I've had no problems with it. And I've never had any slowing down of the PC uh, because I've had uh, search indexing uh, enabled. In fact, it's been a lot faster with it enabled because obviously it allows me to search for files a lot quicker and get uh, much more better results. It seems to me a little bit of a counterproductive by disabling uh, the search indexing on uh, a modern day system. And if you've got an i5 or an i7, that's plenty fast enough with an SSD. I don't see why you should have to disable the search indexing. And if there was a problem, uh, Microsoft would probably uh, disable that feature to protect the SSD if that was the case. And finally, let's take a look at another one I see, which is you should disable the search indexing because an SSD is already fast enough. Well, that's simply not true. Uh, with it disabled, uh, you would have to uh, crawl the whole drive to find find a file type or a name. And if you've got an email account with thousands of emails and you want to instantly find that person on there then you would have the search indexing turned on if you turn it off it's going to take a long time to find that person on there and it's impossible to search it manually because it will take far too long so that's my reasons for enabling the search index and leaving it enabled i think leaving it enabled far outweighs uh, disabling it and i don't see any reasons for disabling it and there's no slowing down of the computer there's no damage done to the SSD and of course uh, I just don't see much benefit for doing it to be fair to you and uh, again if you've got an older PC like an old mechanical drive and it's an old CPU then maybe I could see an argument for disabling uh, the indexing on uh, a system but other than that I would leave it enabled and uh, get the benefits of quick faster file search and if you haven't got any data on your computer and you don't use it then disable it but personally, uh, I do have a lot of data. Drives are eight terabytes or more nowadays. So if you've got an eight terabyte drive with loads of data on it, leaving it enabled and letting that index the whole drive will take up a bit of space. But again, uh, it makes it much faster to find stuff on your uh, drive and on your system and makes you much more productive. Again, it's the same thing with NAS drives. Uh, you have to have it uh, RAID, and that means that you're getting only one drive with all uh, the data storage, and the other one is uh, redundant, basically, using it as a backup. So it's the same thing for that, really. What do we do? Do we turn off RAID and say, well, we get double the amount of space uh, because uh, and hope it doesn't break? Well, of course we don't. It's just a common sense thing, really, in my personal opinion. So guys, at the end of the day, it is your computer. You do what you feel is best for you uh, and don't let anyone tell you any different. If you want to disable the search index on your computer to save your solid state drive, or if you have no use for it and you don't use it, then disable it. And of course, if you want to claim a bit of space back because you don't use it, then do so. And of course, if you do use it and you want to uh, be more productive and you have a load of data on your drive and you search for files on a regular basis, then leave it enabled. It's common sense, really. And uh, no one is probably right or wrong in the long run, because at the end of the day, it's what suits you uh, best. And you're never going to convince that person to do any different. So use your own bit of common sense. And uh, if you do use that feature, 
and you have a lot of data on your system, maybe images or something like that, and you need to search for stuff and be very quick and accurate with finding that stuff, then leave the indexing feature on because it will index all your drives and all your data and you will be able to find that data very very quickly especially if they're named uh, correctly anyway that's about it for this video my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk thanks again for watching bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my youtube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos <laughs>